It is 7.45 p.m. This is Sunday. My name is Alan. I want to talk to you all while watching this about forgiveness. I just came from the Columbia Street Baptist Church on Columbia Street, Bangor, Maine. A six o'clock service called The Mansion. Pastor Terry was there. Being back in Maine, I've had to re-examine who I really am, what I need. The pastor unfortunately saw my video that I posted from today, last night and today. So he set me aside and he revealed something to me that troubles me. I talk about love and how much that I want to be back with Ashley and how much that I feel bad for hurting her. I talk about love and acceptance and how much she means to me. When I say Ashley, I mean Ashley Jane Austen. But on the same breath, I condemn and ridicule Heather Roy. When I explained to the pastor exactly what was going on, he told me to look inside my heart and then ask myself, is it worth living the rest of my life hating Heather? Or should I just do the right thing and forgive and move on? Forgiveness is not an emotion, it's an action. Forgiveness to a Christian is not an option, it's a necessity. It is extraordinarily difficult for me to comprehend the concept of forgiving Heather Roy for what she's done to me and what she did to our unborn baby. And I struggle with that even right now. On the way back from where I was last night, I was in another state. A couple of my friends allowed me to drive. <clears throat> So I got behind the wheel, adjusted the seat, adjusted the mirrors, got on the interstate, and about an hour and a half into our trip back to Maine, I broke down and almost had an accident. What I mean by broke down, I don't mean the car broke down, I mean I broke down. Six months worth of uncertainties fear, jealousy, and anger concerning Heather surfaced all at once. I almost left the road, almost killed somebody. The vehicle I almost struck was a van. It was a handicapped van. I've cried a lot in my life, but I never cried as much as I did last night, this morning. Because for the first time in my entire life, I realized that the life I'm living is a very lonely, lonely life. When I talked to the pastor tonight, he asked me to look inside my heart and examine my heart. I didn't really understand what that meant. He took a few minutes to explain. And then he asked me a question that blew me away. It stunned me. Am I a true Christian? I'll ask that again. 
Am I a true Christian? The things I've done, the things I've said, thought, the places I've been, the people I know, the job assignments I've done. I've always asked myself, is there such thing as forgiveness for people like me? So the pastor did the one thing that I didn't expect him to do. He asked me to look at the Bible and read a couple verses that he pointed out. John 3.16 was the very first one that he showed me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And then he pointed out John 6.35, I am the bread of life. And then he pointed out Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. That's verse 1. No, I'm not a pastor. But he pointed out these things because he could see how much it was bothering me inside. I struggle right now with the term forgiveness for Heather Roy, for what she did to me and our unborn baby. That's my own fault, no one else's. I'm downtown Bangor, Maine. I'm standing on Howell Street right beside the public library. And that's the federal building at Center Screen. That over there is Tesoro a Pizzeria Restaurant Italian. That over there is the Bangor City Hall. Heather Lynn Roy lives at 53 Perkins Street, Apartment 1, Bangor, Maine, just under a mile from here. And yet I still struggle with unforgiveness. Maybe there's a lesson I'm supposed to learn a reason that I'm going through this. But last night, early this morning, when I broke down driving, I almost had an accident. Antonio and Frankie, Peter, Anthony, You all told me I looked like I saw a ghost. That I looked like death. For the first time in a long time. I fear damnation. because for what Heather did to me and our baby, where I'm from constitutes a death sentence. And I struggle with that. Maybe in time, maybe I can forgive in time. But my true love is Ashley, always will be.